friends, I am Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicals Hub. Today we are going to discuss the Norma Frontalis. When we view the skull from front, it is known as Norma Frontalis. This is frontal bone. This is frontal process of zygomatic bone. This is orbital surface of zygomatic bone and this is temporal process of zygomatic bone. Now these are two nasal bones. These are two nasal bones and this is maxillary bone or maxilla. Now this pyriform area is known as pyriform aperture this is symphysis menti now this is orbit these are these structures are orbit now the bones forming the orbit are now we observe that this is zygomatic bone so this lateral boundary is basically made up of zygomatic bone. This is frontal bone. So this bone is basically frontal bone forming the upper margins. This is superior orbital fissure. This is inferior orbital fissure. The details of these fissure will be discussed in the later lectures. Now this is optic canal. This is optic canal that will transmit the optic nerve. If we observe this area, this is basically terion. Terion is having the greater wing of sphenoid bone. Now where is sphenoid bone? You can observe that this area is of sphenoid bone. Again this area is also of sphenoid bone. And this is also of sphenoid bone. These are representing the greater wings of sphenoid bone and this area is representing the smaller or lesser wing of sphenoid bone and this bone is orbital plate of ethmoid bone this one this is orbital plate of ethmoid bone now if we discuss the pyriform aperture, then we can see the perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone and the middle nasal concave. So this is perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone and these are middle nasal concave. The superior nasal concave cannot be viewed from front. Now these are inferior nasal concave. These inferior nasal concave are basically independent bones. And the lower part of nasal septum is basically formed by the vomer bone. This is vomer bone. Now there are some foramens like Supraorbital foramen is there, infraorbital foramen is there, and the mental foramen are there. The supraorbital foramen, this is supraorbital foramen, it transmits supraorbital arteries, veins, and nerve. In the same way, the infraorbital foramen will transmit infraorbital artery, vein and nerves. Now this is mental foramen in the zygomatic bone, uh, sorry, in the mandibular bone and this mental foramen transmits the terminal branches of inferior alveolar nerve and the mental artery. 
You can also observe another foramen in zygomatic part that is zygomaticofacial foramen. This zygomaticofacial foramen it transmits zygomaticofacial vessels and nerves. Now we can observe there is a region of prominence, a ridge. This medial rounded ridge in the medial portion of orbit, upper middle portion of orbit is known as superciliary arch. So there will be another superciliary arch here and there is a low rounded protuberance or ridge in this region. This is known as frontal tuber or eminence. If we see this region, that is nasal bones, frontal bone, this is naso, frontal nasal junction. Then this is known as nasion. This is nasion. And slightly above the nasion, there is a region known as glabella. So this one is glabella. Glabella is, can be considered as a region or a little bit ridge like structure in between the two superciliary arches is just above the nasion. So hit the like button, share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.